Hey guys, it's Wednesday. So this week we're talking about backstage, which is something that's really close to what I, I mean, I am a technician, I am backstage, like, like Kevin said when he introduced it, you know, it's for me, I mean, Kelly is also a stage manager and works backstage all the time, um, so it's, it's the only thing that I really do, I'm not a performer, not anymore, I have before, um, and I would if I wanted to, don't normally want to, um, but anyway, backstage is the theme. So, I don't know, when he said that, the first thing that came to mind was some of the stories from working on shows. First off, this summer, um, when we did Nunset Boulevard, it was the longest tech ever. It was a Lambie tech, which is notoriously long and tiring, and Lambie's Lambie. She gets what she wants, um, no matter what, almost, which is good. Her shows are fantastic, but it's a really long process. Um, and actually I realized during Glass Menagerie, which was also her show, that I have gone through every Lambie Tech since I have come to school at Stevens. Every year I've been here, and I've and the summer at Boji, I was in every Lambie Tech. So that's always nice. I've been through the worst of the worst, I guess. I don't know. Um, but Nunset Boulevard, that... Boulevard, that tech lasted until 3 a.m. Um, we started probably around 2.30 doing things, uh, took the break for dinner, came back, did more stuff. Um, it was mostly programming. The, light board, uh, the, light, the lighting designer did not know how to program on our ETC board. She'd only worked with strand boards, I guess. Um, so we had a student programming it, which was interesting. Um, it took a long time just to dictate all of that. And we didn't have actors on stage until midnight. And we'd been starting, we had started working on things at 2.30 or 2 or so. Maybe, maybe 3. Um, in the afternoon. And we didn't get actors on stage until midnight. And they were there the whole time waiting, um, and even then we left at 3 or 3.30, and we had only gotten to the third song, uh, in the morning, so when we left, and then had to come back the next day, um, and continue, we hadn't, we never did a full run-through of the show before we opened, because of OG, you only have the two days to tech, um, we barely finished in time, <laughs> it was silly, it was it was silly. Um, so that's that. This, that's, that's recent. Um, the first thing, that, I guess, the first thing that really came to mind when Kevin said it was my friend, when I stage managed slash did the lights for Charlie Brown for Cafe Noir Productions, a semi-professional com company I've worked with, um, that I love. I love them to death. They do really small shows. Um, my friend was helping out backstage, and, oh, she, her appendix burst, um, probably I think the week before the show, or so, so, but she still ran the show, backstage, she was still backstage, she had a tube coming out of her stomach, it was, and, I mean, a wrap, and she couldn't laugh, and it's, your good man Charlie Brown, so it's funny, and she wanted to laugh and do things, but she couldn't, oh, it was just silly, I don't know how she got through that, I don't know, I, just, mm. Just makes my side hurt thinking about it. But yeah, um, backstage is something that I absolutely, I mean, it's what I do. Uh, so that's, that's that. I know this is really quick. I haven't done, oh, I feel so terrible I haven't done the theater thing yet. Um, God, I keep saying hopefully I can do it this weekend. I'm going to say it again. God, I hope I can do it this weekend. Um, it's just short because it's already past not Wednesday here anymore, and I, yeah, so, yeah, uh, I mean, it's quick, it's, it's not short, because I keep rambling, but it's quick, so, yeah, uh, Lisa, hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully you're home, and you're, you're wherever, you, what, uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully you're well, so, bye guys!